I don't think that the conventional heart surgery or even valve surgery is going away because there always be something such as uh, a, a coronary artery process that can't be taken care of percutaneously or, or a large aorta or something that, that uh, the valve um, uh, won't, uh, there's too much calcium or maybe not enough calcium. So conventional heart surgery won't go away as we know it. Uh, but I think that the, the percutaneous or the, those types of technologies will continue to, to expand and really improve the kind of armamentarium to treat valvular disease. It's not you've got a valve problem so you need open heart surgery. It's well let's see, let's see if you have other disease processes or other morbidities or something that would preclude us from just going right to open surgery. So as this continues to, to evolve and even the technology, I still think we're kind of in that square wheel um, time of the technology. And we'll look back and say, do you believe well, that's what we used to use? So it's really, it's exciting at this point in my career to be involved in that.